So guys, today we're at this little tiny creek you can see behind me. It's located in Balboa. Like you see, the main lake is right there, right behind me. And yeah, um, I'm gonna do some fishing, creek fishing here today. Um, there's tons of tilapia here. So I'm gonna target some of those. There's bass here too. And yeah, there's a lot of people here. So I'm gonna try not to be too loud. So yeah, hopefully we can get on some and I'll show you guys when to catch up. So guys, we just caught one. First fish of the day. Please don't spy me. It's a, a little baby tilapia right here at the creek. I'm gonna collect him in. So guys, it's the first catch of the day. Uh, I tried to spot the creek at Lake Bobo. Little baby tilapia. Good relation. Shot off great. And there's a ton of them, so let's go catch them. So guys, the tilapia here are like smallish, they're like baby size. And uh, yeah, you want to use like a really small looking hook. And I just got this piece of bread. You want to just wrap it around the hook. Because they have small mouths, so they're going to steal the bait off a lot. And there's tons of them. And what I like to do is just open my bail, cast it out in the the current and there's gonna be a bunch of them just a bunch of them um, fighting for it and do you want to like I see them you want to let them eat the hook because they are small so I like to see them right there attacking it they're biting it oh, I pulled it right out of his mouth so you know you don't want to rush it so you want to just you sh I see them like attacking it with my polarized glasses so you just want to let them take it and it looks like I might have one, and I do. See, and that's how I catch fish at Lake Balboa Creek area thing. I'm gonna uh, release him, unhook him and release him and show you the release. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 caught him right in the air before he's gonna fall on the ground. Ah, uh, he's spying me too, kinda hurt. Little, beautiful little tilapia right here. They're all babies, cause all right, all the tilapia just spawned, so they're all in this little tiny creek. Gonna release that guy. Let's go catch them. Just casting it out there, letting them take it. I'm gonna open my bell. Once I feel a lot of tension, or them just see them, they have it. I hook it, oh, pulled it right out of his mouth, but there's still there's like a school of them. Ooh, they're right there, right there. I might get some underwater footage because this is crazy. There are literally tons of them. Let me, let me catch one more and I'll put my GoPro underwater because there are a ton of them. There are a ton of, ooh, got one. So it's the biggest one of the day probably. Nice. Ooh, it is a pretty, ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you okay, buddy? I'll show you guys right there. Really nice one, a better one. Let's uh, release him. Take pictures, pictures of him. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Let's take a couple pictures and release him. Well, we release him. He swam off. And yeah, I just see a, a bass or something. Jump there. I might target some bass here. Yeah, because I heard there is some small ones. So let's go catch them.
Hope you guys got some nice footage from that and release it. Let's just catch some more. So guys, this is a different pattern. This is a different color. A pretty cool pattern. Uh, looks like he's ready to go. Let's go catch some more. Finally, guys. I was targeting some bass and I couldn't find any. I got one bite over there, but that one bass, he kept missing the hook. And he always just kept missing the hook. And finally, we got this little nice peak largie. Never caught a large off in a peak before. Oh, I think I have. Yeah, I did. But look at that beautiful colors. We took a, a couple of pictures of it and I'll show you guys. Okay guys, one last look at this beautiful large mouth. Let's release her. Start off great. Let's go catch some more. So what I basically was doing was walking down this whole creek. Because I caught a couple of decent sized uh, tilapia already. So I wanted to see if I could catch some bass here. Because last time I did on some bread, which is pretty crazy. And all I was using is this little tiny hook with uh, the end part of a fluke. And I came to this part. And I was fishing there and I was like didn't get any bites. So I came over here. I was debating whether to come, but I saw that there's a little eddy here and I love I know how bass love uh, ambushing um, prey and small eddies and breaks in the current. And yeah, that's when I caught him. I didn't even know I had a fish. I was just reeling it in, felt like the current to me. Uh, and I also had some bites at the other spot over there, but uh I let it be right there because I, I'm going to let that spot warm up and I'm going to target the same bass again. But all I was doing was throwing into this small, slow moving pool and just slowly jigging the fluke to make it look like a, ooh, to make it look like a dying or fleeing bait fish. And I just had another one right here and I saw it. Hopefully it comes back. going to fish this um, technique. A little bit and then we might go try some live bait fishing with a uh, sloppy I caught and yeah I'll see if I catch another okay. one. Okay, uh, bye. Dude, I was on a phone call and I didn't even I didn't even know I had I hooked onto one. I was just gonna change spots too. Looks like this is a pretty good spot for some largemouth bass for creek fishing. That's why these guys have so much energy. Let's take a look at that beautiful little creek largie. I'm gonna take a couple pictures there. So guys, we took a couple pictures of it. Beautiful largemouth, let's release it. So I'm off great, let's try to catch some more. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Got him. So look at this, one of the bigger size tilapias I've caught in. Dang, that's a really nice one. Really, really nice one. Really cool color, Sulamaria. Unhook it and show you guys the release. So guys, this is the, probably the biggest tilapia of the day. I knew if there were some. Bit. Okay, so I'm off great. Let's hope we can catch It was only like three years ago until I started finding out, got one where there was bass here. That's when I started um, bass fishing. And I made my YouTube channel like a year ago or something. Like a few years ago or something. And really nice looking tilapia. And we're gonna hook him. So nice, beautiful tilapia. Really nice colors, let me release him. Swam off great. Let's go Swam catch There's more. tons of tilapia there. And I got one right here. Hopefully it's a big one. Oop, nicer one. Well, actually. Just has uh, some cool colors. Oh, 
Really nice looking tilapia. Let me release him. Swam off. Great. Let's go catch some more. And sorry if I'm not talking too much just because there's, there's a lot of people here and I don't want to ruin the peace with, for them. And yeah, but this is a really cool spot. In Balboa, there's not that many people fishing here. I don't see anyone fishing here. There's tons of fish. And yeah, I might um, catch a couple more tilapia and uh, leave. So you don't want to put too much bet on them because they're just going to steal your bait. You want a nice bait where if they bite it and like bite it and you could hook it. But if they just put a bunch of like a big ball of bread, um, they're not going to bite. And um, uh, let me tell you my setup. I'm using this trout rod. Sorry, there's an airplane behind me. I'm using this trout rod and um, it has, ooh, I got a nice one. Yeah, where was I? I was using this trout rod and um, uh, like, oh, dang it, come on. You're still hooked, buddy. Ah, dang it. Ooh, just saw a bass jump. But dang, look at those beautiful yellow colors. Let me unhook. Oh. So for the fifth time, I'm using um, a really tiny hook. I'm using a size 18, a size 18 treble hook. Let me release this guy. Yeah, size 18 treble hook equipped with some two pound test line. So it's really lighter and you get to feel the bites easier. And yeah, um, a really ultra light rod and small hook with bread and yeah, custom. Often? Uh, yeah, the main lake usually. Oh, nice. For bass, usually. Oh, got a nice one. Hey. Me and my boy went down to the river right here. Oh, that river? Did you ever go in there? Yeah, I caught one bluegill there one time. Oh, okay, we went down like to the left, and there's like a sandbar where the river runs by. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that part before. <laughs> oh, I thought you got one. How's it? Dude, it's so good over there. I know. Really nice one. Let's release him. Cool, nice guy right there. And he was um, he said he was he caught um, an African cichlid here one time. And I don't know if he's talking about the one I saw, but the one I saw was uh, a convict. I used to catch a bunch of those like years ago though. But I've seen some I, in my underwater video. I just made two. Well, I haven't posted it yet, but I made it. And uh, I saw a couple um, convicts. I don't know if he was talking about that. And he said he caught some on a, a on a lure, so it was pretty weird. I didn't know they were hit lures. I used to just catch them on bread. So I might go to the waterfall and try targeting some convicts with some lures. But yeah. Oop, got one. A oh, really small one. Another nice tilapia. Baby size. Yellow right under the gills. Really nice tilapia. There he goes. Let's go catch him. Got one. Ooh, really nice. A better sized one. Well, actually, yeah, he's really just a. Ah, oh, come on, buddy. I don't know. If... Tons of tilapia here. Really cool colors. Look at that blue in the face, the orange eye, the black stripes on his back. Really a reddish tail. Yellow underside. Right, so I'm gonna take a picture of this one. Really looks cool. And, um, really beautiful fish right there. I'm gonna release them. Let's go catch them all. So guys, I told you I was using the size 20, um, size 20 treble hook. It allows the fish to get um, hooked easier because these are very small fish. And I think I got one. Yes, we got another one. Really cool fishing spot. Please don't hook me. Ah, dang it. He spined me instead of hooking. These guys hurt when they spine. Not really bad. Looks like the same one, but it's not probably. It's a little bit bigger, actually. Let's release it. Yeah, so you need very small hooks. Ooh, look at that guy right there, that bird right there. Thought I was going to feed it to him. I might feed it to him. Um, he caught like a bass when I was here, too. It was pretty crazy. And um, yeah, uh, I think that was number. I don't, well, actually, I forgot what number that was. Yeah, I think I. Well, actually, I have no idea what number that was. So uh, I'm gonna thread up my bait right here. Uh, what they are, they're looking, they're like the tilapia, they're very skittish, which means it's very like shy basically. And I just put it where there's structure cause that's where they like. 
or where there's current, like just put it down the river and just let it float. And you'll just see your bait, which is a bread, just get hammered by tons and tons of bluegill. And I'm getting back to it now and you want to let it eat the bread and hook it. And I got one. So that's be another beautiful, even a red, like the red on the on the fin. Uh, release him. Yeah, let's go. Let's catch one more and we'll. And I think I got one. Ooh, it's a pretty nice one actually. So, last fish of the day. Ooh, it is a really nice one. Ah, ah dang, he spied me. She has another hook it and I'll take some photos and I'll show you the release. So guys, this is a tilapia, the last fish of the day. So guys, um, that tilapia just came out of my hands because my GoPro stopped filming. So I'm gonna try to catch another one. Finally guys, caught the last, hopefully the last fish of the day. Let me unhook him real quick. So guys, guy so scared he uh, pooped in my pants, but I mean pooped in my hands. And um, yeah, I'm uh, give this last fish of the day and then underwater at least. So guys, that is the end of the video. We caught a lot, uh, a lot of tilapia today. Really good day of fishing. We also caught some bass. Well, one bass just jumped right there as I said that. We caught two bass actually. One blew up and I missed it and it didn't get hooked. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like and subscribe and subscribe to the Fish YouTube channel. And I've been trying to make more videos and um, I'm gonna film one right now. I'm gonna try to film one and hopefully that goes good. And stay tuned if you want to see that. Subscribe notifications on if you want to see that video so um it was a really good day fishing and i'm um, hope you enjoyed the video and i'm out